Okay, folks, uh, here's a, another quick video. Um, going to keep doing these uh, as quickly as I can and try to knock a bunch out just to catch up on things that uh, people have missed uh, over the past few months. And plus, it helps me get better at it. So, uh, here we go. Um, I've had a lot of people since I posted the last video ask about the silver tape that we're using on a car. Uh, this tape, it's really, uh, I don't know, it's basically a, it's basically real duct tape. <laughs> uh, it's not the normal duct tape that you, you know, everybody has in their house, but it's the kind that, uh, that, that people use for uh, AC systems and ducting work inside of big buildings and even your own house and all that. But uh, as you can see, we have some on the back and this is just here to, to, to really just hold it in place because we recently had to move this whole thing again and it's not in any sort of pattern or anything that you have to go by but basically the idea is you cover the whole uh, entire foam with this tape and it acts as a, 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 a basically it provides two purposes one it allows the resin uh, not to melt uh, or dissolve the foam once you start applying the fiberglass uh, and other you know, materials like Bondo or whatever you decide to use. And the other one is it doesn't allow the, the fiberglass to stick to it. It has like a special film on top. I don't know if it's anything special, but it just happens to have like a little uh, tiny film that's, that's on top of the silver aluminum tape. And, for, you know, it just doesn't allow the, the you know, the fiberglass to stick to it. So we use it because uh, it will, once we lay the fiberglass down, uh, we're able to go back in and remove this, this foam and, from certain areas. I mean, we want to leave it in, in most places that we can just for strength, uh, in, you know, until we add strength to the car. But, but basically, um, that's what it does. And just kind of give you an idea, you know, we're working on the headlight area now, just trying to get the headlights to fit in. But to kind of give you an idea, uh, looking inside the headlight, this is what the inside of the car looks like. And let's see if I can get a good shot. Um, this is uh, my hand inside the headlight, and basically this is underneath the uh, shell. And you can see it's a pretty hard shell, and it's really, really smooth. So if we need to apply any material on this side, we have to sand it. But in the back, um, let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, you can see, whoa, um, you can see that we have the tape back here and it just easily comes off. Um, it doesn't stick, stick at all uh, to the fiberglass and, you know, just allows us to, and I can't, I can't navigate. <laughs> I'm doing this blindly. Uh, you know, see, so there it goes. So, and you can kind of see that little, I don't know what it is, but that, that little film that's kind of separating right there. And I don't know if it's like the glue or what, but anyway, it just doesn't allow the fiberglass to stick or anything else. So it's good because we come in and like we're doing here is ripping out the, the whole, the entire headlight section. Um, and, and basically this allows us to go and leave all the remaining supports inside the car, as you can see. And we can take it, let's see if I can try this one, uh, and stick our headlight in. And so, oh, Lordy. So there we go. So there you go. And that's not an exact fit, and I'm kind of holding it with one hand and a camera with another, um, but kind of gives you an idea. So we still have some trimming and aligning to do, and a lot of other things uh, to go uh, to make this headlight uh, fit correctly and all that stuff. So there you go. And basically that's the purpose of the silver tape. Oh, all right. So uh, uh, there you go. And um, that kind of hopefully explains what this tape is for and how it works. And it really allows you to, to, to make uh, some type of you know, positive and negative mold without having to use a bunch of mold release and, and you know, as long as you don't need to be perfect and, and everything, then you can, 
then the tape comes in real handy uh, for things like this. So, since this is only our first layer of fiberglass on the car, and we haven't begun to apply any materials on it at all, um, to smooth it out and give it its fine lines, uh, you know, we, we still have a lot of work to do. But, essentially, there you go, and that's, that's how that tape stuff works. So, the next thing I'll try to cover in the next video will be um, the gantry setup. I don't have it set up right now. <laughs> uh, basically, it's a we had to take it apart uh, for moving out here, and um, our big deal now is my welders and stuff uh, are all 220, and this building doesn't have 220 in it. Um, the other ones do, but this one doesn't. So we're having that wired in, but it's taking a bit, and I may just go pick up a, a 110 welder and. Uh, use that instead. So, um, there's a car. I don't know. Okay, maybe not. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what we hear all day is a bunch of cars, <laughs> uh, race cars running around. So that's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, there you go. And I'll uh, try to cover the gantry setup and the lasers. Here's the uh, the gantry deal over here and we have a bunch of these mounted but this one's loose but basically um just to go over this there's a laser uh stuck in here and this is adjustable and we can tighten it down uh and there's screws that go in this area and it allows us to pivot and adjust the laser and get it you know tracking right and and everything so so those lasers basically uh, go down the whole length of the car. They're in a type of an X pattern and they allow us to you know keep the symmetry correct throughout the whole car or we're working on it and adjusting it and putting fiberglass and building up materials on it and all that. Uh, so there you go. I'll cover that more next video and until then I'll see you next time. Bye.